Howdy folks, I'm Kazu Comes, and welcome back to another pressure video. In this video, we'll be talking about Pandemonium, also known as Z367, uh, and uh, we'll be talking about who they are, what they do, and what is their backstory. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, essentially, Pandemonium, uh, who is classed as Z367, is considered to be one of the most hostile mobs in the game. Uh, there are only two ways to hide from them, and that is either for a vent or a locker. If you're in a locker, then you'll be sent into a minigame where you have to try and keep your camera and cursor in the center of the screen. If you fail, well, uh, then uh, you immediately die. Pandemonium apparently pulls you out the locker and eats you on the spot. Uh, during this minigame, Pandemonium will actually smash itself against the locker in an attempt to knock your cursor out of the center, and after about 40 seconds, um, give or take, then Pandemonium will leave. Uh, I think the time changes like every time, so it's a bit random when it leaves, but um, when it goes, it just goes, about 40 seconds. Uh, Pandemonium takes the form of an angler, and a lot of it is actually quite similar. However, uh, they're much distorted, and they have eyes inside his mouth, which is actually contorted, and uh, hanging unnaturally with many tiny visible teeth. Melted strings of skin uh, appear to be connecting from its face to its lower jaw, and Pandemonium also has a slight chromatic aberration effect. However, a lot of it is actually similar, since uh, similar to the node monsters, if there are flashing lights, then you know either a node monster or Pandemonium is approaching. Uh, however, unlike them, Pandemonium is much faster, and if they see a player, they'll increase their speed to approach them. It is also said that their max speed is about the same as a marine predator's, which is uh, pretty crazy, if you ask me. However though, uh, we're going to actually talk about the actual lore behind our strange multi-eyed friend. Uh, so let's talk about where it was actually discovered. So during the Hado Black Sites excavation, when it was first being built, Pandemonium was originally discovered submerged near a thermal vent within the Latvan zone. According to molecular data received from its compositional analysis, Z367's body is structurally similar to the decomposing organic tissue and synthetic polymer, chemical like the plastic with traces of elements of various man-made metals. So uh, we can tell that they're not like a actual natural being, but instead they are a kind of result of man or humans. All attempts to actually classify the cellular anatomy of Z367's flesh has ended in negative results, and uh, they don't actually show any observable sign of life. Its body remains in a perpetual state of decomposition by some unknown mechanism noted through the consistent presence of mold and other erosive agents discovered in the biological analysis. Uh, the Bioparanormal Division has postulated that it collects fresh mass from external sources for consumptions and thus intact. Anonymously, it possesses an intermittent number of intraoral eyes, which appear to function as though uh, alive ones. Though the explanation behind these ocular organs remain unknown, and uh, the Hazard and Ethics Division has deemed further study too dangerous at this time. Um, the internal eyes are apparently deceptively powerful as they are able to spot movement uh, and subtle light shifts in inordinately long distances. If any spotted subjects manage to evade Z367, it will immediately begin to try hunting in the surrounding area. Spotted targets, inanimate or organic, are observed to be found in all instances. It is unknown what methods Z367 uses for its sensory perception, but uh, whether it be hearing, scent or heat, it seems to somewhat be capable of uh, reasoning behind them. When living targets are found, Pandemonium will attempt to trap them inside an orifice that resembles a toothed mouth, and uh, in which subjects are suffocated and dissolved by unknown chemical agents secreted within. If the subjects do place like a sort of barrier in between them and Z367, then the creature will begin to ram its body into uh, obstruction, similarly to how we see them trying to break down the lockers when you are in them and hiding from it. Its estimated weight and velocity uh, is actually capable of uh, destroying most unsecured structures, and uh, it only subsides after an indefinite amount of time, and uh, if it attempts to repeatedly fail, then uh, it will leave. However, uh, Pandemonium actually has an electromagnetic pulse, which is actually similar to Z283, which is the angler, uh, but uh, it seems to be slightly weaker. Pandemonium will cause devices linked to internal power grids to temporarily malfunction, but nothing is actually permanent. 
uh, essentially, Pandemonium is a, a really cool and interesting uh, entity, I think. Um, I think it's definitely uh, going to be cool to look into EM pulses and uh, definitely looks really interesting. However, uh, I don't have any more about them. Just, you know, stay safe. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed today's video uh, and if you learned something, comment below. And as always, this is Cosmic Comments blasting off and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.